tonight, Red Skelton and Marilyn Maxwell in Appleby's Office Party. <laughs> How'd you like to see Appleby act high as a kite? Oh. It's impossible. He doesn't drink. So how can he get loaded on nothing? Hypnosis. Hypnosis? You're a hypnotist? Well, not a professional, but through the powers of post-hypnotic suggestion, I can make George think he's drunk. You're kidding. Oh, yeah? Well, you just watch. Now, hold it down, kids. I'm going to hypnotize George Appleby. Well, right, now, just for, uh, have a good time. Relax. Nothing's happening. George! What is it, dander? <laughs> Are you some kind of a nut? <laughs> George Appleby, can you hear me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are now in a hypnotic trance. When I bring you out of this spell, you will remember nothing except what I want you to remember. Do you understand? Now, when you are tapped on the shoulder, you will immediately react as if you've had 40 drinks. Tapped on the shoulder, 40 drinks. And when you hear the word wife, you will immediately sober up. Wife, community property, sober up. <laughs> now, I'm going to bring you out of this trance by snapping my fingers. And you will only remember the tap on the shoulder, which means intoxication, and the word wife, which will sober you up. I don't know why you folks have to make so much noise all the time. I have to bring you in. Charlie Lindbergh, the first man to fly the Atlantic side saddle. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I gotta see if I can make a middle school for it. A snake! Snake! What's a snake? Copperhead! There's a wood Your wife. <laughs> wife. <laughs> Hello, Clara. Hello, George. I, I I want you to do some shopping for me on your way home. Oh, anything you say, sweetie pie. Uh, what are you, man? A mouse. I must be a man. She's afraid of a mouse. <laughs> Number one, you're an old battle Number two, your nose is up in the air so high you look like you're smelling something. And number three is your face looks like it's what you smell. George! George, you've been drinking. Yeah, but not enough. I can still hear you. Here you are. Happy New Year. Yes, dear. Why is it, dear? Well, that's funny. She won't talk to me. I better go home and see what's right. Now, don't you worry, George. I'm sure it's nothing serious. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!